artist from the great state of Texas, Pat Green. Thank you very much. Texas also here to all you people, fine people. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Eric Kroll. I'm the sergeant with the Baytown Police Department. I'm president of the Texas Municipal Police Association. Tonight I stand before you. I'm honored and I am in awe of each of those who we are here to remember tonight. What is a hero? You know, that term is used today by many people to describe first responders, public safety, law enforcement, military, even private citizens who go above and beyond to help others. But I believe, and, and I do believe, that absolutely the hardworking men and women of law enforcement who we're here to remember today, that have given their lives in service, they truly are heroes. I do contend, however, that there's another type of hero here tonight. 
Those who survive carry on the memory of their loved one who has fallen. The husband or wife, the brother or sister, the son or daughter, those who live each day in this new world after their loss. The brother and sister in blue who go back to work after the worst has happened. Those whose lives have been irrevocably changed when their loved ones left this earth. Having the courage to forge on in the face of such loss, living to remember, never to forget, rebuilding your life one day at a time, breath after breath, heartbeat after heartbeat, step after step. To me, that makes a hero. That's something that's truly great. Tonight, let us honor those who have gone before us. Let us honor them by living with all the joy and happiness that our lives may bring, knowing their sacrifice was not in vain. If anything I say tonight stays with you, I pray that you remember this. In brief, there is hope. Is speaking before the bravest people I know and the strongest people I know, and that is our surviving families of our fallen brothers and sisters. You all are a testament to the strength of the human spirit and a shining example of what it means to be a part of the brotherhood and sisterhood of law enforcement. Now, some would say our brotherhood and sisterhood is dead. That we've been silenced by the anti-police narrative that dominates our airwaves. That they seek to demonize the brave men and women of law enforcement and paint us as the bad guys. Well, I'm here to tell you, nothing could be further from the truth. I don't have to be the one to tell you that we are the good guys. Everybody knows that in this audience. We're willing to put our lives on the line every single day to protect the communities we love. See, we're sitting in the shadows of the Capitol. 181 state reps and senators. And we spend a large amount of time on issues like education, colleges, highway, transportation. But think for a moment, and I've been there 47 years, 10 in the House, 37 in the Senate. We would not have a society, we would not have our form of government if we did not have public safety. So yes, we deal with some serious topics that you ought to be involved in. But it would not be possible to have a democracy if we did not have public safety first. County Sheriff's Office, Sergeant Paul Buckles, May 30th, 2014. Corpus Christi Police Department, Sergeant Frank Dolan, February 12th, 1960. Patrolman Robert Hobbs, November 25th, 1947. New Bronxville Police Department, City Marshal August Ampey, January 27th, 1880. Ward County Sheriff Office, Sheriff Lewis Moore Jr. May 8, 1927. Star County Sheriff's Office. Deputy Sheriff Alfonso Solis, June 27, 1898. United States Department of Treasury, IRS Bureau of Prohibition. Prohibition Agent Charles Stevens, September 25, 1929. Richardson Police Department, Officer David Sherrard, February 7, 2018. Dallas Police Department, <coughs> Officer Rogelio Santander, April 25, 2018. Round Rock Police Department, Officer Charles M. Whites, Jr. April 27, 2018. Texas Juvenile Justice Department, Office of Inspector General. Deputy Inspector General Richard W. Hale. May 9, 2018. U.S. Department of Justice, Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. Senior Special Agent Scott Ragsdale. May 24th, 2018. Wayland Baptist University Police Department, Chief Lonnie Burdell Burton, June 25th, 2018. Columbia Police Department, 
Officer Jared Kyle Friddle, July 9, 2018. Dallas Police Department, Senior Corporal Earl Jamie Gibbons III, July 21st, 2018. Fort Worth Police Department, Corporal Garrett Willis Hull, September 14, 2018. Real County Sheriff's Office, Deputy Sheriff Mark A. Cox, September 25th, 2018. Natchitoches County Sheriff's Office, Deputy Sheriff Raymond Bailey Jimerson, October 5th, 2018. United States Department of Energy, National S Nuclear Security Administration, Office of Secure Transportation, Federal Agent Christopher David Youngberg, October 5th, 2018. Waller County Sheriff's Office, Deputy Sheriff Lauren Vasquez, October 31st, 2018. They serve and protect. They wear a badge over their heart, carry a gun at their side, and bear the responsibility for our safety on their shoulders. They never know when that life-threatening moment may come. But they know that it could come on the very next call. No matter the rank, officer or chief, they all have one common bond and one shared purpose. They are all part of America's thin blue line of protection. It is a line that separates good from evil. A line that guards the lawful from the lawless. A line of righteousness service, and hope. These heroes of America have shown us that the thin blue line is actually much more than just a single thread. Because of their dedication, their bravery, their essential goodness, that thin blue line has grown and flourished and spread widely and gloriously in communities across our nation. A vast and powerful web of protection that keeps all of us safe and secure and free. Tonight, as we gather to remember the fallen and their families, we also offer our thanks to those who so bravely followed in their footsteps. You are truly the greatest tribute of all to those who have made the supreme sacrifice. A comforting and constant reminder that their service did not end, that their devotion to freedom and justice continues, that their loss was not in vain. As we raise our lights skyward in a silent salute, let us honor all those who have fallen and their families who have been left behind. Their legacy of service and of sacrifice is forever carved on these majestic walls that embrace us here tonight. Our grateful citizenry will always remember, and we pledge to do more with our lives in memory of them. There is a line in the color of the sky on a clear afternoon. There is a line, the hue of the ocean, on a bright, sunny day. There is a line, the purest shade of a newborn's eyes, awakening for the first time. There is a line that protects from all harm in all we do, whether day or night. There is a line no one can penetrate, no one can alleviate. There is a line made of those who choose to follow a calling many do not hear and still more do not comprehend. 
They choose to walk the path of fear, hate, and mistrust, taken by so few, yet marked by so many. And when one leaves this line, they leave a legacy. But the line does not break, for the remaining must still protect. There may be emptiness, a loss, or sadness, but never a hope. Not in this line. This line that holds the ghosts of the souls who have gone, and the souls of the ghosts who will be. <laughs>